There are a lot of things that I would like to disappear off the face of this earth. Off the top of my head, I'd like death and taxes to disappear for pretty obvious reasons. Unfortunately, Ben Franklin perfectly said it that nothing in life is certain except death and taxes. Just like Excel, it is almost a certainty that every time you enter a value with a leading zero, you can expect that it will remove it before it even sees the light of day. Excel automatically does this to prevent errors in computations when you use functions and formulas. For anyone that works with data entry and analysis, we all know that these disappearing leading zeros can get real annoying real fast. In this video, we're going to be talking about the different ways we can add leading zeros in Excel. The first method we're going to use is by changing the cell formatting. There's two ways of using cell formatting to add leading zeros. The first method is creating your own custom number formatting to fill in those zeros. Suppose we have a fixed value digit with a leading zero like a phone number. If we have something like a registration form or like an attendance sheet, Tendency is, whenever someone inputs their phone number that has a leading zero, it automatically disappears. To fix this, we select the rows that contain our data. Right-click and select Format Cells. This opens up the Format Cells dialog box. For the first way, we head into the Number tab and in the Category area, let's select Custom so we can enter our own number format. For more information about creating your own custom number formatting in Excel, make sure you check out our Excel Tech Talk video that talks all about it. We'll be linking that video in the description down below. For our custom number format, suppose the phone numbers here are 11 digits long and always has one leading zero up in front. We enter 11 zeros in this field, press OK, and there you have it. Excel changed the cell formatting so that it adds zeros at the start. It fills it up until it reaches 11 digits. A drawback of this method is that if you enter a value that's more or less than the standard value, you'll get more leading zeros or no leading zeros at all. The alternative way of getting leading zeros in Excel using cell formatting is again by selecting the data range, or better in this case, select the cells you're going to be inputting leading zeros into before you even input them. Opening up the Format Cells dialog box and going into the Number tab, instead of going into Custom, we can select Text. This will set everything you place in those cells as a text value. So you can press OK and when you try entering a phone number, it retains the leading zero. Note that when you do this, this green diamond appears indicating a warning or an error. When we hover over it, it tells us that these numbers are stored as text. This means we can't use this cell for numerical computations or for formulas. For example, whenever we enter a formula in it, it would just show the formula as it is. This is the less hassle way of doing it. It's useful enough just as long as you don't perform operations on your phone numbers. Alternatively, you can use the text function to turn the cell with values into a text string. This is the syntax of the text function. For the value, we input the cell that contains the number and in the format, we enter something similar to the format that we placed in the Format Cells dialog box. Once we have the formula set, we can drag it down and have it applied to all the numbers. As you may know, concatenate is mostly used for joining two or more text values into a single text string. And if you recall, one way of adding leading zeros in our spreadsheets is by turning that cell into text. In this column, let's type in equals concatenate. 
open parentheses, and we can enter the different text values we want to put together, separated by a comma. Let's enter in a pair of quotation marks, then three zeros, a comma, and select cell A2. And there you have it. This is a useful technique if you want to add leading zeros that are a fixed number. Never again lose your leading zeros in Excel. If you found this video useful, please do leave a like as this greatly helps us improve creating videos like these for you. And make sure you're subscribed to Simple Sheets to stay up to date with our Excel tips and templates. I'll see you on the next one.